An object is projected upwards at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal from the top of a tower of height 100 meter and it hits the ground at point Q. If the initial velocity of the projection is 100 meter per second, calculate the maximum height of the object above the ground, the time of flight, horizontal distance from foot of the tower to the point Q. Alright, so this first of all what i'm checking for every projector is what case is it so it is projected from the top of a tower at an angle so it's like case two projector if you followed if you followed my video from when we started so this is the tower the height 100 meter now the object is projected at 30 degrees Hmm. Then it hits the ground. Remember, the projector motion always has vertical and horizontal side. And then this is the vertical. So this is the x. This is the y. So it hits the ground at q point q. Mm -hmm. So now they are asking us to find the time of flight and we know that time of flight is time to cover range and everything here is uh, horizontal displacement which we we'll call range they also find, asking us to find the maximum height which is from this point to this point and from this point to this point so in this case to what i first of for find always is simply the maximum height so h is equals to u square sine square theta all over 2g that, that's that's what i normally use to find this first part so let's say i call this a b so i want to find the height from a to b eh? that of if this is c d this is already given and the height here is 100 meter which is the height of this uh tower eh? so now i now have the projection it has an initial velocity Eh? which is the initial velocity of the projection is 100 meter per second so u is equals to 100 meter per second equals to meter per second so we have 100 square sine square theta this is something that says sine theta square you know that all over 2 times 9.8 so this is something that's saying 10,000 hmm? then times 1 over 4 sine 30 is half 1 half 1 half times 1 half is 1 over 4 all over all over 19.6 you know, sometimes you know everything, but it's just that you need to be sure. So I think if you do this very well, you see that. Let's be sure. Of 2,500 hmm, divided by. So you get 127.55 meter. So that is what you get. So to get the greatest height or the maximum height in this case. So what we got is just the height from here to here. So 127.6. 127.6. So when you get it, add the two. If you add it, you get the total height. So the greatest height now, or the total height, in this case we consider total height, or total, the greatest or total height will be equal to the 127.55 that you've gotten, plus the given height which is 100. So this is the sentence I'm saying 227.55 meter. So now that I've gotten it, I've gotten the 
maximum height in this case okay now they said maximum height of the object above the ground yes that is it, the greatest height i've gotten it now they want me to find the time of flight and to get the time of flight which is total time what i will need to get is to first get the time to move from this point let's say c let's say uh, e time to move from e to a plus the time to move from a to q so time of flight in this case is always double so it will be time to move from e to a plus time to move from a to q and we normally get this one using time to reach maximum height from here to here gets you the maximum height Yes, to get this maximum height because if you look at this if you look at this somehow everything here looks like your first case when it's at the horizontal so time from this point to this point using time to reach maximum height which is u sine theta all over g plus time to move from a yeah man when you get back oh shit all right so time to move from a there's so much a here so it keeps flipping my paper so now see time to move from a hmm? from this a now to q from a to q i will consider this height so it's going to be descending as saying the displacement hmm, equals to both the initial velocity when it's coming down and when it's coming down initial velocity is zero uh -huh. So as it's zero, then the time it takes to move from here to here. So that is the sentence as using that formula. If you've not watched it, go and check my other video. You will get it by doing uh, S. Let me do it here. You will get it by doing S equals to U is going to be zero. And if it times T is zero, so you get it by doing half GT square. And in this case, it's going down, so G is positive. So which is the sentence I'm saying head here s is h so 2h equals to gt square so this is going to be 2h over g equals to t square and when you make t subject of the formula it becomes square root of 2h so you can square root of 2h over g so this is the formula you use so 2h over g square root of it so you use it to get your time so if i plug in i have u is 100 hmm? Then sine theta over 9.8 plus h in this case, h in this case is 2 to, uh, sorry, the, uh, the height from A, eh, from A to the ground. Yes, that's the total height. Yes, I'm correct. So 227.5. Hmm? multiplied by 2 all over 9.8 take the square root so let's do it we will get first of all this is going to mean 50 over 9.8 plus um, 227 times okay sorry 227.5 times 2 it's going to be 455 over 9.83 squared. So if I divide this, if I do four, sorry, if I do 455 divided by 9.8, I'm getting, I'm getting 46.4286. Take the square root, then plus. If I do 50 divided by 9.8 I'm getting 5.1020 hmm? when you add it up okay let's take the square root so square root of 46.4286 square root of it gives me 6.8139 plus 
5.1022. So it's going to be the same as saying t is equal to, in this case, I'll get 5.1020 plus 6.81 plus 6.8139 plus 5.1020. So t times which maximum time to total time sorry will be 11.9159 which is approximately 12 seconds so we get it 12 seconds so check this out all right did they tell us to find anything? Let's check. Okay. They said the last part. The last part said find that is find the horizontal distance from the foot of the tower to the point Q. It's the same thing as saying find the range. So notice from the foot of the tower hmm, to Q. So to find that, to find that we we'll simply apply range is equals to u the initial velocity times the total time to cover the uh, distance horizontal distance see it because if you move this now if you move this way it will cover with that velocity it will cover the total horizontal before trying to bend and when it bends uh, you see that the horizontal velocity is constant so when it bends it now starts moving this way and as it's moving this way, the velocity is having nine is for vertical axis. So at this point, the initial velocity will become zero. The vertical axis will have a final velocity. So for that reason, we always keep the u for range. Then the total time that we've gotten is 11.91. So it's going to be the same as saying r is equals to 100 times initial velocity 100. And uh, notice that, yes. I'm not is this this is also the sentence I'm saying since an angle is given this is also the sentence I'm saying u cos theta eh, times the total time taken the total time given so this is going to be the sentence I'm saying instead of 100 times 11 or 100 times 12 hmm, I will do I will do since u talks about the horizontal axis I will do 100 cos 30 times 12. So this is what I'm going to do. So I, I, I should I could have used this assuming there is no angle given. But since there's an angle given, I have to do cos 30. And I remember that cos 30, if I have my three fingers. If I remove this one and look right, I see 3 all over 2. So let's first of all find, because 30 is 3 over 2. So 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. Mm -hmm. So I said, if I do it, I'll have 3 and then I'll have 2. So it's going to be 3 over 2, which is the sentence I'm saying, take the root. It becomes root 3 over 2. And when you do it, it becomes 100 times 0. It's six six zero times twelve. So let's get it two hundred cos thirty. So, hmm? so hundred cos thirty. I have. It is six point sixteen. That is, is the sentence as even being one two. Okay, times twelve. You know, I'm just trying to show that we are not making any mistakes. So, it is six point sixteen times twelve. It is six point sixteen times twelve is going to give you one thousand. 39.2 which is approximately 
1039 as your range r so notice something assuming assuming this was like they didn't give us any angle this could have been 100 times uh 12 which is just r equals to 120 meter so but when angle is given we use the course to be at an angle then the 12 we used the 12 is we used is the time that we approximated so the total time so that is how you get it so this is the correct answer reason being that is at an angle so you do u cos theta eh, times eh, so the x axis r will be u cos theta so then that's that thing let's check if there's any other question so that does it for question two let's see and that does it so assuming there was no angle given it could have been 1200 meter rather not 120 but since there's angle given it is 1039 meter 